Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed Nerd. We're doing a special table talk today from the YouTube Nation building. Global headquarters. Global headquarters. Oh, but um, it's fancy. There's a big room, nice but right this here. is where it is. Uh, my name's Joe Beretta. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Jacob Soberoff. What's up, guys? Uh, Jacob is the host of YouTube Nation. It's true. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it. You guys, YouTube Nation, well, first of all, thank you. This is like, I'm very nervous to be on the show with you guys. This is really cool, really awesome. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Yeah. It's just talky talk. That's okay. it. Yeah. Okay. So YouTube Nation, <laughs> we're on uh, uh, six days a week, Monday to Friday. At we post six o'clock on the East Coast, mm -hmm. and Saturday we post six o'clock in the morning. It's the videos that you have to see every day. The best videos on YouTube, and it might be your neighbor in their garage, a video that nobody has seen yet, and it might be one of the biggest bands in the world. It's not all about music, but mm -hmm. point is, it's that undiscovered stuff, it's that stuff that everybody's talking about, it's it's the most awesome stuff of the day. And you guys get a little weird sometimes, yeah? Are you talking about me personally? <laughs> yes. I can feel the weird. <laughs> So yes. you guys are like a CNN E Entertainment News for the world of YouTube. I would love, yeah, we're like the nightly news of YouTube. You got to know what's going on that day. Mm -hmm. Turn on YouTube Nation, and most importantly, like send it to your parents, send it to your young mm -hmm. siblings, send it to people that don't know what's going on on YouTube. In addition cool. to the people that know you guys, but and by the way, congratulations! It's the one year birthday of SourceFed Nerd, which is really oh, amazing. Yeah. See, he knows. We he did knows. It. They've got their they've got their finger on the pulse of the tubes. Yeah, I try to tube it. <laughs> you guys do it really well. Sometimes. Um, uh, so yeah, so uh, Jacob, since uh, you've never done this before, this is... Wait, hold on. You guys want to meet Simba? Yes. Come here, Simba. Look at this dog. Simba's the office mascot. Come here, Simba. Oh, Come Simba. Here. Come here. They call him Simba because oh. he's a dog that looks like he Simba. It does it's look a Simba. like Simba. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make it okay. Yeah, yeah. You're a mix of everything, it Oh my like. God, this yes, is so are. gross. <laughs> In a great way. In a cute way. Bye, Simba. Yeah, you got some peanut butter on your back. Bye, Oh, look at that Simba. Oh, bye, buddy. See you later, Actually, before we jump into topics, if you want to check it out, click this annotation. Do that. Right Bing. there. There's probably, here, wait, let's do an even cooler sound effect than we just did. <laughs> Editors, I'm, I'm counting on you. Uh -huh. Hit the sanitation. <laughs> Starlight. Bazanga. You're the guest, please get the first top. I, let me just get some Simba slobber off my throat <laughs> before I do that. Uh, okay, here we go, first topic. Do here I read it? You guys want to read it? Go ahead. Read it. All right, here we go. Take it away. This is from Pat Askew uh, at Grungle Pop. If the Olympics went back to competing nude, what would be the most <laughs> awkward competition to watch? Hashtag table talk. The most awkward. Yeah. I mean, they would all. I've got a good one. Be awkward. Yes. I have a good one too. Go ahead. What do you think? Yeah. Figure skating. Do you have any crotch and face there would be? But you mean couples figure skating. Oh. You mean like dance. Yes, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, that could get So, but is, So that's Winter Olympics. Are we doing, do you want me to do Summer or Winter <laughs> it could Olympics? Be a, Whatever. We could do both. Yeah. Summer Olympics wrestling, obviously. Greco Roman wrestling yeah. could get a little bit awkward. That's a lot of privates, hey. privates in, in, in faces and stuff. That happened for years. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that true. was back when it was a little bit more socially acceptable. It, it would be funny if the Olympics mm -hmm. didn't tell anybody that they made this change and yeah. <laughs> oh, you tuned in on great. NBC on Wednesday night. And the ratings would be so much better. <laughs> Winter Olympics? Uh, curling, because everybody's like bent over real funny, sort of. Yeah, anything it. ice related would be yeah. one hell of a time. Yeah. Uh, oh, a fun one to watch, and I don't even know if they're going to have it in the next Olympics, would be trampolining. Oh, okay. You're watching the gymnastics, watching the boys. And I actually don't have girls trampolining, they only have boys trampolining. That would, I would, and we would feature that on YouTube Nation. If there's a video of naked <laughs> yeah. trampolining, just hit us up in it the comments. It would just be remixed. I'd be it would dick have, physics <laughs> all over the place. They would just drop dubstep mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what do you guys uh, What do you guys do with these once you're done? You, can I? You I'll put them in my pocket. I'm you, can, you can yeah. totally. But we have some. Them. We have a fan out there that is tallying up every single time somebody you hits the lens. It up so we crumple it up and throw it at oh, the right. camera. Okay, I got Joe's you hit the by lens, far the winner. You will be in the run. Okay, cool. It'll probably go. be tied with Steve Zaragoza. <laughs> they call. I'm a good three point shooter in basketball. Has Steve huh? never made it? They call me three Jesus Christ. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh so bad. Christ might it's be cool. the best name. <laughs> we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, is that a joke or do they really call you that? No, they really call me that. That's the best yeah. I love that. thing. Oh I'm Jewish, just the best part. Okay. He just crucified the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Wait, bobsled also would be very awkward for the participants. But you wouldn't see the private bits because they'd be down. No, but the they would feel the private. Luge, luge. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That would be pretty good too. Luge could be. You could have some icy. Anything bits. gymnastic. Yeah, that could like be just dangerous. imagine rings, pommel horse, anything gymnastics oh, would be crazy. Ow, uh, we're, we're, there's so much gold that we're not thinking of. Okay, wait really a minute. Next one. Me. Next anything, one. Next. Anything. <laughs> Next. Okay. This is making my bits uncomfortable. At Julia RTN says, hashtag table talk, how do you think babies were made when you didn't know at any age? Your choice. 
Oh, what so you when think? we were young, how did you think babies, babies were, made? were made? I found out real early because I, I, wa I walked in. And you did the walk-in? Yeah. <gasps> no. Wow. Yeah. Can what you not have mind? sex to this day? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I enjoy, I, I, well, I enjoy okay. having sex. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, I've never, I've never, I've never, I never have before. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've got a pure one. It's like William Haynes. I know. Uh, so if there's anybody out there, uh, click the sanitation. Yeah. <laughs> Star away. No, what was going through your mind? How did that happen? Um, I walked, I don't even think my parents know this story, but I, I just walked in and it seemed like there was some, some dance, it was like her dancing going on in the bed. And uh, yeah, and, uh, your got parents it. know now because it's on the internet. So they don't know the story. They, so watch, they can watch it. Yes. Fans of tabletop. So they don't know the story. That means they didn't know. Did you just go? Uh, yep. <laughs> I think I walked in and I was just yeah. I think it was an in and out, no pun intended kind of situation. Yeah. Right to turn they didn't it. vote out. Leave. What did you? How did what did you guys think? Were you, um, were you like I, a stork girl, like the stork brought her? Yeah. Well, I mean, Dumbo caused me to think about the stork, but honestly, I thought because for Mr. Potato Head having like the pouch that just opens. Because, yeah. You thought you just like undid a couple bolts? I thought because there was a Barbie made too that was very controversial that like the belly just like popped off and you could. No. Yeah, look really? it up. That's like a thing. Barbie. Um, so I literally thought like there was just like, it was like a little compartment that just opened up and baby comes out when it's ready. It's like an oven. It literally cooks. That's why our oven. toys need to be anatomically Ooh. correct and not like overly skinny and ridiculous looking so yeah. that we know where babies come from. Yeah. yeah, it would help us out at a young age. Like, I'm pretty sure I knew pretty, pretty young. I don't know why. Probably like. You know how you find roadside porn when you're a kid? Oh, you're walking no. down the road and like one of your first- Roadside Wait, porn? Roadside you never had roadside porn? porn? Walking down the road, you find an old Playboy? Like, in LA, no, in LA, in LA, you grew up in Montana. They know in what I'm LA, talking about, roadside porn. In LA, what? you That's grow up and there thing. are these things on the street, have you seen them now that you guys live here, called LA Express, it's like, yeah, yeah it's like yep. fake porn, it's like, oh, it's in the newspaper It's to trick things. young perverted kids, like, into dialing phone to, numbers, yeah, right? opening it up and getting it, but. I don't know how we start talking about roadside porn. Well, we talk about roadside, roadside porn, porn because, because that's how say, Joe was educated well, on the sexy stuff. Well, um, on sex, well, uh, on on the feminine body and the mystique behind it. But, but that I'm doesn't saying, give you that good of an idea well, when you see why, that stuff. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I don't remember it, and it's in a dark part of my brain. But I was walking down the road and I found a roadside medical book that explained how babies are made. You never what? know. Shut shut up. Give me that one. <laughs> give me that one. Give me that one. Oh, you want to try again? Go yeah, ahead. Here we go. I am. Um, I'm just picturing someone driving down the street with his porn and being like, "Yeah, don't need this anymore." That's it. Watch just this. Toss it out Everybody of the car. in the comments down uh, below. Over two. Sorry. Tell me about the roadside porn or like old hotel or motel porn. I that can't you found. believe this. That's is how a it thing. happens. Okay, hotel motel porn maybe. Roadside porn. And I'm not talking like turn on the TV porn. I'm talking like, oh, I lifted like, the mattress and there's a porn. Like I'm walking down the street. I'm a little kid, like on on my scooter oh, or something. Puppy. Oh, look at this oh, porn. Oh, there's back. a dog. Oh, you can't tell you're scared of dogs. Oh, Sim she all animals. Oh, oh no, you are the best. You're like seven dogs. Your head doesn't belong <laughs> on your body. All right, next one. Here we go. Oh. This is from Daniel. Mm. At SourceFed, sometimes I think the demon women living in my floor vent sound kind of hot. Is that weird? Hashtag table talk. <laughs> yes! Hashtag Short yes. answer, yes! Yeah, that's a little what? weird. The yes is to that's weird or that they're hot? Probably a little bit of both. Probably a little bit of both, yeah. Wait, How okay. do you know they're demons? That's for Daniel at Dan Sot to answer. We're gonna, we're gonna let us know in the comments, Daniel. We're gonna transition this into a talkable point here. Okay, so okay. <laughs> was there Go, anything Joe, when it. you guys were young, or even now, <laughs> that you you uh, put a bit of fantasy on when you were a kid? Like Kevin McAllister was afraid of the furnace in the basement because oh, he yeah, was yeah, gonna yeah. eat him, okay. or the baby in Look Who's Talking thought the thought the toilet wanted to eat his pee pee. Did you guys <laughs> ever have monster spray? <laughs> No. no. Yeah, Tell when us I, about so spray. I think it was one of my sisters had monster spray when she was a kid. She was scared that there were monsters under the bed. Yeah. And there's a spray called monster spray which gets rid of monsters. It's a real spray. It wasn't like an imaginary spray. Uh, no. I mean, there aren't really monsters, so it was it was imaginary. <laughs> but I mean, does someone like sell and brand <laughs> yeah. monster oh, yeah. spray that yeah. you can buy and use on? Isn't that crazy? Monsters. It's just like an air freshener. Yeah, I think that's all it is. It's just air freshener, that's or probably amazing. just like water spray. That's actually yeah. really good. Yeah. Did it work for her? Yeah, I think she was cool. I mean, she's yeah, she's she's still hiding, so I'm not <laughs> sure. Yeah. I had I had a really cool imaginary force field that went over my bed. Oh really? Um, because I was That's scared. Awesome. Of, I was scared of everything. Still That's kind awesome. of am scared of everything. Like the it clown lived under my bed. There was a velociraptor coming around the bathroom, around the hallway. Whoa. She's afraid of Jurassic Park. I'm afraid of a lot of things. Oh! So mm -hmm. she can't watch Jurassic Park. 
I just thought of something really good. Go ahead, keep going. I so I used to have when I was little, and I would literally like make a noise. I'd lay in my bed so I could see everything. Like the nightlight had me on, I could see everything, and I would like. And, and then I'd have like this sound effect, and I'd have this whole like that's fastening. Awesome. And then once the force field was over my bed, I was fine. Nothing could come in and get me. I had the same kind of deal where I would so. I grew up in a two-story house, and my mm -hmm. bedroom was on the second story. And I would, I would go downstairs to get water before I would go to bed, and I would be so scared that something was coming up behind me. I would run up the stairs as fast as possible, <laughs> and I would look behind yeah. and make sure oh, yeah. that there was nothing at the bottom of the it. stairs. Then I was cool, like just. But I would like run up, and then I would get there and I would look down and make sure. Do you ever do the back out. against the wall thing when you're by yourself and it's Only dark? when my back itched a lot. Uh, just oh, yeah. itch my back. Because then nothing can sneak up on you. I actually thought I was going to be so crazy when I got older that they'd have to strap a section of wall to my back all the time so that <laughs> That's like. Awesome. I could, that is very crazy. We haven't talked right? about. Uh, first of all, Joe, what are you? Is I mean, I was the same way. Like if I would walk home at, at night. Yeah. I would do the same run thing. I'd be like, well, if I run, nothing can kill me. And In I Montana, you legitimately away. have to be afraid of like bears and stuff. Yeah. Well, if I run, now I'm food and now I'm sport yeah, for true. a bear. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the, nothing other specific other than that. I was the baby, not the baby, the kid that would hmm. be super afraid because I've talked about it before. I watched Child's Play way too young, like six years old. <laughs> Screwed me up for a very long time. Chucky so, is real. It's not cool that Chucky mm -mm. exists. No, mm -mm. it's not. But I I'd lay in bed. And I was just the kid to be like, I'd look at my closet, well, something in there is gonna kill me. I would look outside, be like, well, something out there is gonna kill me. But I'm safe if I take my blanket yep. and put it over my head. Totally, I Boom. get it. Get blanket it. force field. Um, just, t just wanna just ask you guys, total tangent, do you guys like our giant light bright wall of the world? I That's noticed amazing. that when I first walked in. I looked right at it and said, is that a light bright? Pretty crazy, right? Awesome. I love it. You're more than welcome to pinpoint where your office is on there. I love how big Hawaii is. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I know. square. It's a giant square. Here we go. Get it. Oh, oh man. I, be I believe that I'm you'll get one by the end of this episode. I'm starting to lose my belief in Jesus okay. Christ. Right, one for three is not bad. If I make another one, I'm at 25% for the game, so I, love I have it. to make this next one. All right, this one, I'm so presumptuous that I'm just I taking these out. Okay, Do cool. It. This one's coming from Zach Stedman. Zach at uh, Zach Zax WLJ. <laughs> If you could bring back one thing from the 90s, what would it be? Hashtag table talk, Ooh. hashtag snap bracelets. Snap bracelets are a pretty snap good. Snap bracelets is a good go-to. But they've kind of made a small comeback. Tiny a comeback. Lot of like, and marketing. Yeah. Market, like, a lot of YouTubers and stuff will just... Uh, yeah, I've seen like restaurants and stuff, like 10% off of okay. a snap bracelet. Whoosh. Hyper color t-shirts. Mm. Hyper color t-shirts awesome. are a good one. Blossom hats, or was that 80s? I get very... No, Blossom 90s. was 90s. We're, okay. all We're all children of the 90s. Blossom was 90s, yeah. Blossom um, hats. I'm gonna go deep into my love bank and uh, withdrawal <laughs> MC Hammer. Oh, All right. nice. I want to go back to the days when Mr. MC Hammer was the coolest thing ever. I had hammer nice. pants, I was a white boy in Montana, I was doing the I dances. bet you looked dope in those pants. I looked dope and I would still look dope if I wore them. I'd be dope-tacular. Can we talk about all the Nickelodeon shows of the 90s that should come back? Hey dude. Yep. Hey dude, we just talked about It's a little hey wild dude. and a little strange when hey you dude. make your home out on the range. Salute Speaking of wild shorts. and strange, wild and crazy kids. Well, wild uh -huh. and crazy kids. Uh, Hidden Temple. You can, Hidden Temple is dope. Okay. Uh, you, you can't do that on television? 80s or 90s? Kids Incorporated. That was an 80s holdover that made it into the I think so too. Like you can't do that on television might yep. have been also. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Gladys Morissette was did on I, that show. Really? Yep. Did I also say, did I say Clarissa Explains It All already? You have no, not. No, Clarissa Explains It All was amazing. Secret World of Alex Mack? Also good. I was in love Mm -hmm. P and P, P was P. awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, All good. All good things. Have you, you guys ever gotten slimed back. like uh, Nickelodeon stuff? No, have you? No, I would love to. I went to their live show. They did. They did a live double dare. Um, live double dare. Oh, I, I did too. At Universal Studios. Yeah, you and did I was not. like, I was really? like, please call me up on stage. I just want to be slimed, and it didn't happen. You know what's funny about that show? I heard uh, Mark Summers was gift. like a super germaphobe. Really? So he's really? messing around with all of these people that are just covered in fake ice cream and slime and all this gross crap, and they're probably gonna like, give him a hug and shake his hand at the end. Does he's he, like, like Howie Mandel. Like, crazy he's like super Mark afraid Summers. of germs. Wow. Summers. He was a good host. He's doing I liked a, him. I like Last I knew, he was doing a cooking show. Really? Cooking or like a traveling food show? Might be a traveling food yeah. show. All right, this one's for you, Mark Summers. Yeah! I believe. I believe my faith has been restored. All right, so I'm, 20, I'm 25 percent for the game. You're gonna threes this Christ. I gotta get my get my <laughs> thing up. This is from Dominic at Baxorn. Uh, this says, "What eating habits do you have that have changed over the years? I.e., not having food touch." Dot dot dot. Mm. Oh, I used to every time I had mashed potatoes make a castle. Like every it was time. Like, yeah, like all the food that on my that was on my plate had to be like layered. And, and like, then you would like storm castle, the castle walls with your mouth. Then you take the, the fork and go all the way. 
straight down so you get it all in one bite. You don't do that anymore? I don't do that anymore. You would like, you would pretend you were a giant eating the people. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I was when a I say real people, weird kid. I mean P E A P L E. Do you guys, <laughs> um, do you guys, ma do you guys ever go to like, you know, the kind of like Boston Market or that kind of mm -hmm. thing where you like, you can really mash up all the different just foods. Oh, yeah. make a cornucopia. That's the best. I still do that. I used to do that. I still do that. <laughs> you put yeah. it in a trough and you just eat it's it. It's the best. Hands. It's like on Thanksgiving. Who does? Can somebody tell me out there like who doesn't mash up everything together and eat it at the same time? The next, I always do a Misfit Thanksgiving because my family isn't here in LA. Next Misfit Thanksgiving, I'm gonna do exactly what you just did. Make everyone tie their hands behind their back. Smash like their this. face into the table. I have to eat. I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> Not doing that. Uh, well you have family. Man, I'm booked with you have not other doing what you're talking besides about. Besides troughing your Thanksgiving dinner. What else? Did you do any? <laughs> I've had, I, in, in my older age, I'm finding that I'm a little, little hesitant to yeah. uh, when I go to somebody else's house. If like they, if things just seem a little dirty, like if they haven't oh. like cleaned their house, okay, it's very hard for me to feel comfortable eating the food. I still do because it's polite. Like if they have like a dirty glass. Yeah, that too. Like, I, I will get anxiety a little or bit. Or just the home, if the home is dirty. A little bit of everything. Like, if, yeah. That's a weird adult thing that I know. happened to you. I, I know read yesterday happened. that OCD is, a, I'm, not, I'm not judging, I'm OCD, is a, is a genetic thing, and they figured out what makes it happen. So you and me will go to the dock, we'll get it figured out, what and then happens? we'll go eat at all what the dirty houses of the world. Well, in 10 years, they'll be able to just go into our thing. stuff and turn off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's go get wow. that turned off, and we'll go eat at all the dirty homes of the world. Do anything else? What about you with food? Do I have any other food things? I gross people out with my sunflower seed eating you habit. Spit them out. And I just spit them in a cup that I hold. It's like really that's weird. Legit. It, lo yeah, it looks it like, like he's work. spitting tobacco. So I'll be sitting there on the internet, and she'll be, Trish will be sitting next to me. I'll just be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I I sunflower seeds are great for road trips. Like I did a road trip across the country, and you just. But then my daughter hates me because I have my window rolled down, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and they fly back in and. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a good father. Do yeah, you are. Weird food habits. You're good dad, Joe. I know it's weird, like when you have to judge yourself on that level out of the blue. I just am like a. I've always been. It's it's a habit that I've kept. I'm mm. like a massive binge eater. I eat so much food. Like I'll eat like. Where do you store it? An entire it? pizza. Mm. I then I then it leaves. <laughs> And now it's time Confession to shoot corner. the next one. Oh, he's oh, at 50%! Oh. You have 50% now. No, now I'm two out of five. Two Calculation, five. which is... Which is 40%. 40%. Which Thank is you, great. Tony. You're above the average. 40%. All right, we're okay. going to the flash. This will be our last one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. If you could have any prop, this is from uh, Samaj Trouette. Um, or if it's French, Simage mm. Uh From the Twitters, if you could have any prop in movie history, what would you choose? Oh, so good. Are you a big movie guy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, oh! Hit the camera and hit the lens. One for one. Joe's um, pretty good. How are you, Trish, at this? Do Not you? very okay. good. <laughs> no. Nah. All good. Athletics and Trisha. Maybe don't really... like uh, Superman's cape. That's like the original one, oh. Christopher Reeves. You know where I saw it? Is it Ripley's Believe It or Not, or at least one of them in Hollywood, and I, you, got, you can actually oh. tug on Superman's cape, and it feels oh, that's so pretty cool. Good. It's itchy. Huh, I wouldn't have thought that. I'm thinking in the realm of I could actually have the prop from the set, none of these recreations, because those are so yeah. easy to get your hands actually, on. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm gonna say Sting. I'm going Sting. Huh? Huh? Sting oh, the sword. The sword. Oh. oh, you would I go would with any prop from that movie. Any though. prop from that movie. That's well, but I mean, I a prop replica out the wazoo right now. But like, I, yeah. the actual. The actual. And see, heavy in my mind too, sword. I'm like, if I got Sting, and like, it would really glow if there's orcs nearby. It'd be okay. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I would probably just take home Susan Sarandon. <laughs> you would take home Susan Sarandon, and she would take you home because you're a young man. Yeah, she no, likes I have Sarandon. She likes young men. She's a human being. She's not a prop. She's done great <laughs> things for the world. Joe's obsession with Susan Sarandon never ceases to amaze me. I have a weird thing it's for her. I respect that. It's uh, that's not weird. That. I have a very normal thing for that beautiful older lady. Who do you have a weird thing for? Um, Michael Keaton. Yeah, me too. Okay. Man, I'll take them both. You guys can live on my shelf. Just because we're not gonna do this one, I'm gonna throw this in. Okay, great. Bum, bum, Who do you guys have a weird thing for? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Oh, that's close. That's um, close. If you wanna join in on future Table Talk conversations, you can do that on Twitter via hashtag Table Talk yeah. or on the Reddit, r slash SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Joe Beretta. And by the way, watch YouTube Nation, I'm Jacob Sobroff. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Thanks for being here.
care, man. Thanks, man. Thank you guys so much. My hands are a little you. sweaty, but I'll I are too. What do you mean? Anyway. Sore my armpits. It's all good. Okay. Ah. Cool. We're all moist. And that's how you end an episode of Table Talk. <laughs> Boom.